baby, come give me some. So guys, finally, I have Wi-Fi. You know what that means, right? Indeed. More YouTube videos, yes. So guys, it, it finally happened. Last night, after several days of attempts, uh, I got my Wi-Fi installed. And I'm telling you, I'm very, very much appreciative of my Wi-Fi now because knowing that getting Wi-Fi here in Rwanda is not a guarantee. But first of all, I'd like to give like a shout out to one of my clients who kind of like pushed me to get Wi-Fi. Initially, it was just for me to be able to give some live workouts to her, but uh, you know, it took a while. We went into a lockdown and uh, the internet company was not working. But recently, they gave them permission to work. So I think I was one of the first clients who said like, oh, yes, give me Wi-Fi. And of course, uh, Willie, who also uh, sold it to me. Rwanda, like most uh, developing countries, when they were developing the telecommunication, they kind of skipped the landline portion and just went to cellular. So that's why here there's no real preparation for landlines. So when my uh, Wi-Fi got installed, they literally had to get a cable from the main road and uh, pull it uh, like almost a kilometer towards my house. And it was like it like together with one of those electricity cables. Um, uh, here um, and it took several days to install because you know apparently they were like uh, first they were like splicing it up in two because it was too long we found that that does not work and then, and so they had to come back again but I must say the guys you know there were these there were these young guys who came and installed everything and um, yeah kudos to them I feel like they they really did their effort even though it was not easy but they you know they made it happen so last night was the first night in the past year that I've been living in Rwanda that I slept with Wi-Fi and today I woke up with Wi-Fi you know so you know what that means right so the first thing that I did this morning was basically go on my YouTube channel and uh, catch up on my YouTube comments um, I don't know if you can hear it but it's kind of raining outside so that's why today I decided to add like a microphone maybe to help don't know let me know so I normally read all the comments and try to respond to as many as possible But because I've been gone for such a long time, I've realized that I stacked up some comments um, You know yesterday when I, when I was uploading the video So I thought today maybe it would be fun to you know uh, Read them all together and see what's happening there All right ready now. Let me take you guys behind the computer And after that, of course, I spent some more time just, you know, video calling my girlfriend. Baby, come give me something. Oh. Ooh, baby, come give me something. Oh. So before before I had Wi-Fi, of course, this past year, I've been just going around with, you know, basically like 3G connection, and which is quite good. So let me just share with you like the best internet provider that I have found in the past year here in Rwanda. They are three of those I can say there's MTN Airtel and Mango these are the three that I've been using religiously for the past year and um, these are my top three I would say of, of uh, spot number three that would come MTN MTN 3G I did not try the 4G just because it was like ridiculously expensive um, and for me it was not sustainable so I might use it once or twice but I would definitely not buy a whole month pack so for MTN 3G, it is quite good. Uh, it's fast and it's reliable. Uh, the only hiccup that for me it was, it was you do not get that much MBs for your money. So that's why I was always looking for some kind of uh, cheaper solution because me doing a lot of stuff on the internet, uh, YouTubing and stuff, I do use a lot of internet. So that's why I found it to be mm, a bit on the pricey side compared to the comp competition. The competition who comes now at number two that is mango mango internet came about 2019 and they 
they were offering unlimited 4G internet for 6K, which is around $6 a month. Now that's very cheap, that's what people want here. But the problem is that it's not 4G. I won't even call it 3G, it's like 2.5G. But the good thing about it, it's unlimited. Uh, it's only $6,000 uh, 6, Rwandan francs a month. Um, so you can do a lot of st stuff, you know, you can, you can, you can watch uh, YouTube uh, films on it, you can, you know, browse the internet, but you know, sometimes like when you're like on Facebook and scrolling and you see like a funny movie and you just want to watch it, well, you can't. It loads for the first three seconds and then it's like, tum, tum, tum. so you need to have some patience with it. Um, but like I said, it's spot on on the price and also maybe for some people who are not that heavy users, it's, it's more than sufficient. Um, I was really, really happy with the... Um, with the 6k uh, bundle so but for me because I needed more internet I I, I purchased the next one which is quite hefty it's 24,000 um, Rwandan francs which is around 24 dollars uh, you, you would say that one was was better uh, it was faster than the than the six than the 6k one uh, the only problem that I had with it is that inside my house it does not work that reliable um, so I would say inside my house it works about like 50% of the time and once I go like in front of the house it would work about 70% of the time and so therefore I had to put my phone outside and kind of like tether it to my to my laptop here um, and it would be good. It's great for video calling and also at my, my work at the gym I have very good reception so when I'm like uploading films on, on Instagram it's amazing. So I would say that one is it's it's really good. It's plentiful, and if you have good reception at home, I don't think you really need anything else. Um, yeah, other than that, the only thing, the only downfall that I had with it is that the up the upload speed. So you have download speed when you're like you know getting information from the internet when you're watching a movie, for example. And but then you have upload when you're putting stuff to the internet, and that's what I do most of the time. And it, there it's quite slow, you know. Um, like for me to upload a one minute. Uh, one minute, one minute and a half film on Instagram uh, TV. It takes about 10 to 20 minutes, um, which is ridiculously slow. So yeah, that's the only downfall I found with it. And lastly, on number one, the best internet that I have found so far here is the Airtel 3G. It costs about 10,000 Rwandan francs and you get 30 gigabytes of internet. Um, for me, I find that to be the most reliable. It is. It works like 80 to 90 percent of the time. You can really count on it. And also throughout Chigali, I have not had any issues. And also going out of Chigali, really, I rarely have any issues with that um, with that packet. So with 10,000 Rwandan francs, around 10 dollars, you get 30 gigabytes. I tend to use double the amount, so around 60, 65. And the, yeah, so I would say the problem that I have with that again is that because it is so good, I tend to use it more often and then I can, I, I run out of it. So I used about 60 gigabytes in like three weeks. So I'm left with like one week uh, and I find it, then it becomes a bit too expensive again. So for me, that was the main reason that I switched with the Mango 24K uh, bundle because it was, uh, it was like capped at that amount and I could not go over it. Um, but the Airtel one was was the one that I found the most reliable and which gives you the best the most bang for your buck So I would say like if you're not a very very heavy user like I am I would definitely suggest the, the Airtel 3G uh, uh, internet package um, Because it so far has been the best Oh, by the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. This is just my personal opinion about my personal use uh, the way I am Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, so now that I finally have you know, good reliable fiber internet at home, what kind of videos shall I make, you know? I'm still stuck here in this lockdown. Give me any suggestions on what kind of videos you'd like me to make from home and then I'll see what I can do. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.